on a federal level, issues of immigration, Afghanistan, foreign policy. We need that diversity. We have a very diverse community, 57% visible majority. There's especially the South Asian community that I'm very, very fond of. I see them as very hardworking, industrious, entrepreneurial people. An issue that was raised by many new Canadians was the issue of fraud marriages. Jason Kenney came to the same conference. लड़की अपनी स्किन की वजह से परेशान हो तो फिकर की क्या बात है लेजर स्पॉट है ना लेजर स्पॉट फोटोफेशियल थर्माज एंटी एजिंग लेजर हेयर रिमूवल लेजर स्पॉट वी ब्यूटी मीट्स एलिगेंट प्रोफेशनल्स लेजर स्पॉट हाईवे 10 और क्वींस के संगम पर कॉल शैला 9054872680 किसी को कनाडा आना हो या अपने घर की क्लोजिंग करवाना हो कोई अपना हम सफर खो जाए या फिर सड़क पर हादसा हो जाए सांगा लॉ ऑफिस वी डील इन इमिग्रेशन रियल स्टेट फैमिली लॉ एंड पर्सनल इंजुरी मैटर्स बट डोंट सेटल फॉर लेस देन यू डिजर्व सांगा लॉ ऑफिस गिव अस अ कॉल 24 आवर्स टू नो योर लीगल राइट्स 9054569911 फर्नीचर खरीदने के दो तरीके होंगे पेला तो तुम सारी दड़ी गेड़े क्डो तो घरों वापस आ जाओ या फिर एक जगह जाओ तो सारा पसंद का फर्नीचर घर ले आओ नोबल फर्नीचर से लग गई है भारी सेल घट कीमत हंडर सार फर्नीचर अपने घर का शिंगार बनाने लोबल फर्नीचर की किसी भी ब्रांच से पहुंचो नौ सौ पांच सात सौ नब्बे सताहठ नब्बे नाइन ओ फाइव सैवन नाइन जीरो सिक्स सैवन नाइन जीरो नोबल फर्नीचर अपने कारोबार की तरक्की के लिए प्रिंट पब्लिसिटी और बेहतरीन प्रिंटिंग के लिए सिर्फ एक ही नाम जहाँ जदीद टेक्नोलॉजी से स्टोर फ्रंट साइंस चैनल लेटर्स बैनर्स रियल स्टेट साइंस सैंडविच बोर्ड्स, व्हीकल ग्राफिक्स बिजनेस कार्ड्स, पोस्ट कार्ड्स, लेबल्स फ्लायर्स आपके बजट और आपके वक्त में बनाए जाते हैं आपका काम सिर्फ सोचना है क्योंकि साइंस टू गो Good morning to all the viewers of Breakfast Buzz. Myself Nishan Gari playing for Premier Cricket Club in the Brampton Cricket League and today we will be discussing about the ICC Cricket World Cup 2011 and cricket in Canada. And I would like to take this great opportunity to just introduce the next two players, the great players of Cricket Canada which I would like to say who are just sitting next to me would like to give their introductions on their own. Good morning. Uh My name is Omar Bhatti and I've been playing cricket for Canada for the past 8 years. I'm a left-arm fast bowler. I'm a veteran of two under-19 World Cups uh, and a senior World Cup and uh, I am the all-time wicket uh, taker leader for Canada. And next to me is my best friend and my ex-teammate Karun Jethi. Hi, good morning everybody. My name is Karun Jethi as Omar said and I have played cricket for past 16 years. In Canada I played under-19 for 5 years including a World Cup. Then I got selected for the senior team to travel to West Indies, and then played a lot of tours, including Ireland, when quadrangular happened here with Sri Lanka and Pakistan, and then triangular with West Indies and Bermuda. And now for the past two years, I've been playing cricket in India for Punjab National Bank. I'm off spinner batsman. Great. So today we are here to just discuss, as I said before, about the ICC Cricket World Cup. 2011 and cricket in Canada. To start with ICC Cricket World Cup 2011, I would like to ask Omar you as what do you think the team which has the maximum chances to win this championship and the team who has the maximum chances to go to the semi-finals and the quarter-finals as well to really fight against the other nations. I think uh, in my opinion the best team to win this World Cup uh, is Sri Lanka. Uh even though this is probably uh, the only World Cup that's been uh, 
uh, really closely contested uh, among the top six teams. Mm -hmm. uh, but I feel as if Sri Lanka is going to come on top because uh, the reasons for that are, uh, you know, they've got a great all-round team. Uh, they've got solid opening uh, batsmen. They have a good middle order, mm -hmm. uh, you know, with the inclusion of uh, Sangakara and Mahila Jayawardene, who are, you know, two of the top batsmen in the world. Uh, obviously, they have Murli Dharan, who is the best spinner of all time, and they have a good all-round seam attack. So they've got pace, uh, they've got swing bowlers. So I, I believe, you know, uh, Sri Lanka could be the winner of this World Cup. Okay, that's good. What about you? Karan? I would say India. And why would you say India? It's not just because I was born there and lived there for 16 years. It's Absolutely. because if you look at the batting lineup right now, it's India. And being in subcontinent, you could only win a game if you have a strong batting lineup or a great spin attack. Mm -hmm. And India have Harbhajan Singh. Okay. Morley is gone. He's old. He's been called back from retirement. Harbhajan Singh is the big thing right now. But mind you, he's still a legend though. Well, he's still a legend, no problem. But we still have a legend too, Sachin Tendulkar. That's true. So once again, as you have said, India and Umar, as you have said, Sri Lanka, is it somewhere like the subcontinent factor is there in your minds when you have selected Sri Lanka as a world champion team and India as a world champion team? Definitely. I mean, you know, obviously, uh, given that they're playing uh, at home uh, in their own conditions, uh, obviously, both, the, both of those teams are very strong when they play at home. Uh, you know, if you look at their record for the last couple of years, uh, I don't think anybody has beaten them at home. So obviously home advantage uh, plays a big role uh, given that, you know, the te teams like South Africa, Australia, or even England, uh, you know, they haven't, they haven't had much success. Okay, apart from Australia, uh, teams like uh, South Africa or in England haven't had that much success, in ODIs especially, uh, lately. Uh, so because of that, the advantage definitely goes to the home teams uh, Sri Lanka, such as Sri Lanka and India. Okay, what about you, Karan? About the subcontinent factor? Almost like what Omar said, but I would agree with Omar at one point, what he said earlier on, that uh, I would actually disagree because Indi India is much better batting attack than Sri Lanka. If you take out the top order, Dilshan, Sangakara, and Jayavardhane, other guys are not consistent performers. They only perform when one of these guys perform. And you won't have all three of them clicking every game. Absolutely. Whether in India, you have Virinda Sehwag, Tandulkar, Gautam Gambhir, Virat Kohli, Yusuf Pathan, Mahinder Singh Dhoni, Yuvraj Singh. Take any of these names, they're match winners. And they have proven that over a long period of time. I, I completely agree with you, but I think Sri Lanka has a more, uh, more of an all-round bowling attack than, Sri uh, than India. India is quite you know, heavily reliant on spin. Even though Harbhajan has done really well, I still... Morley is ahead of him and given that Sri Lanka has a better seam attack I know Zahir Khan is one of the top bowlers in the world at the moment but he has no backup uh, you know Munaf has done well in patches Sirshant he hasn't done all that well in one day and given that he hasn't played that many ODIs recently that goes against him whereas Kola Sekra he's been uh, he was the top bowler uh, in ICC rankings last year and then uh, you've got a new guy Tishan, Tishar Pereira uh, you know, he's come, you know, he's bowled really well lately and, you know, he got a five-wicket haul against Australia, in Australia recently. And then you have Lasit Malinga, you know, who is such a dangerous bowler in all conditions. You know, this, so the bowling overall, it's in Sri Lanka's favor, I would say. But like when you say they have a good all-round attack, good all-rounders, which of the all-rounders or even the bowler who bats no, have I, made two centuries. When I say centuries. good all-round attack, I mean they've got a good bunch of seam bowlers and spinners. That's what I mean. So uh, I would say so does India. You have Zahir Khan, Harbhajan Singh. Yeah, but those, those are two, two main bowlers, but you cannot be relying on them all the time. And, okay, let's say one of them gets injured. Who comes in to replace them? At That's least, true, though. But you know, in Sri Lanka's Lanka. case, in Sri Lanka's case, at least they have some experience. And, you know, they have, uh, in their spin attack, they have Rangana Herath. They have, uh, what's his name, uh, Mendes. And they have Murli. So even if one of them goes down, at least you, have, you still have a decent backup. And, and their spin attack. And even with, I know, given the conditions in Sri Lanka and India, you know, you're not going to play all the seamers all the time. But even if you play two of them, I think they will probably outball India on any given day. I agree with you. And India will outbat Sri Lanka on any given day. No, there's no doubt. I mean, India has the best batting lineup so in this World Cup without a doubt. You know, we both are with the teams 
that could either go either way like you know anybody could win at that point what would you say well absolutely you know on uh, your point of view i agree with both of you that india and sri lanka they both are like into like one balance and sailing into like kind of a same boat when it comes to the world cup but karun coming back to that point when it comes to all the all rounders i don't think so india is full of all rounders like as compared to the other teams i think india is just mo- most likely they have the like batting lineup which is very very strong and on their day they can like beat any team there's no doubt about it but again coming back to omar's point i would say that in the bowling and like i think even like you know in india like 90% of the majority crowd they believe that you know if we are lacking today in anything any department that is actually the bowling department so to me if you come to like sri lanka cr- uh, cricket team i think they are more balanced than team india but once again the interesting thing which is coming in my mind is that as you have said india and as you have said sri lanka what about team pakistan because when it comes to team pakistan they can actually give a big surprise on their day to any team even australia for that matter because i still feel like that pakistan on their own day they are like balanced in like both the